unique than the other guy. And it was then that he knew what he had to do. He had to stop all the girls that were coming through. He's here to fight for me and you. Danny Phantom is a beloved series that has a total of three seasons, starting in 2004 and ending in 2007 with a total of 53 episodes. The show revolves around the life of Danny Fenton, a teenage boy who, after a freak accident in his parents' ghost hunting laboratory, gains the ability to transform into a ghostly superhero. Danny becomes Danny Phantom and uses his newfound powers to fight ghosts that threaten the human world. Danny is the son of Jack and Maddie, who have dedicated their entire lives to the field of ghost hunting. Hunting. Things will surely get awkward when they find out that their own son is a half-ghost. But the question arises, how did this all start? For that, let's take a step back in time, specifically to the early 1980s. Back in college days, Jack was close friends with a guy named Vlad. With Maddie by his side, he came up with a ghost portal that would serve as a gateway between ghostly and human realms. As Vlad was closely inspecting it, a malfunction led to Vlad being blasted in the face, which gave him acne and white hair. In a different episode, the same flashback is shown when Danny goes into the past, and we learn that Vlad had a crush on Maddie and was about to spill it out. Maddie, there's something I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. Meanwhile, Jack had accidentally juiced up the filtrate with Diet Cola instead of Ecto Purifier, which is why the machine malfunctioned. Now, Vlad's friendship ended with Jack and Maddie, and the two decided to marry each other a few years later. Having to do with today's date of May 9th? On the other hand, Vlad was hospitalized for the time being. When he was released, he discovered that the incident had given him ghostly powers, which he used to earn a lot of money. He founded Vladco, a company that specialized in making ghost hunting gadgets, and soon became a famous billionaire. However, no one is aware of his ghost persona Vlad Plasmius, who is the main antagonist of the series. Fast forward to the present now, Jack and Maddie have two kids, Danny and Jazz. Now, while Jack and Maddie were building a ghost portal, Danny stumbled upon their lab and found it interesting. When the portal failed, his parents left in disappointment, but he stayed behind and accidentally activated the portal from the inside. This causes his molecules to change and give him the ghostly powers that he has in the show. Now, Danny uses his newfound secret powers to protect the people he loves from all sorts of dangers. Alright, now let's get to the show. So, in the first episode, Jack teaches Danny and his friends Sam and Tucker about ghost hunting, but things go south when ghosts escape and Danny has to secretly become a ghost to save his pals. At school, Sam's vegetarian lunch menu angers the lunch lady ghost, who turns into a monstrous meaty menace. Danny, Sam, and Tucker try to stop her, all while dealing with the usual school troubles. In the end, Danny captures the meat monster ghost, but his parents are none the wiser about his ghostly secret. Afterward, Danny accidentally snags a dragon ghost while testing his dad's new Fenton ghost fisher. Later, the school dance buzz takes over, with Danny trying to ask out the popular Paulina, but failing due to his ghostly mishaps. However, an enchanted amulet causes her to transform into a dragon, leading Danny to fight the beast. Danny manages to save Paulina, but Sam's confrontation with Paulina leads to her transforming into a dragon too. Danny captures her and gets back the amulet, ultimately sharing a dance with Sam. That ship is gonna sail across all seven oceans. Jazz is tutoring Dash on a math problem, but his focus is more on her than the subject. When Danny interrupts their study session, Dash immediately starts picking on him, prompting Danny's hasty retreat to the lab. Later, Dash extends an invite to Jazz for his upcoming party, but she agrees on the condition that Danny can also attend. Down in the lab, chaos ensues when Danny's dad unveils his latest invention, the Fenton Ghost Weasel, leading to a ghostly catastrophe that releases Technus, the technology ghost. Despite the mess, Danny manages to attend Dash's party, catapulting him into the popular crowd spotlight. 
However, his newfound popularity leads him to neglect his true friend, Sam and Tucker. In the end, Danny traps Technus in the Fenton portal and reconciles with his friends. Sometime later, Danny and Tucker's quest for victory in the online game Doomed takes an unexpected twist when the infuriated Danny accidentally unleashes Technus via the Fenton portal. Technus, spotting the game's digital realm as his new home, engages in a battle with Danny, resulting in a chaotic showdown that leads to the ghostly escape. Sleep deprived from an all night gaming session, Danny fails a crucial test, prompting extra study sessions with his teacher, Mr. Lancer. Meanwhile, Sam and Tucker and an unrevealed identity named Chaos, who turns out to be Sam herself, dive into the world of Doomed. As the trio tries to tackle Technus, Danny grapples with academic pressures imposed by his Fenton heritage, leading to the confiscation of his electronics. Despite his initial reluctance, Danny eventually passes the test. With his renewed determination, he rejoins the gaming battle against Technus, leading to an epic showdown that ends with Technus trapped in a glitched game. However, their triumph is sort of short-lived as they're unexpectedly defeated by none other than Mr. Lancer. Leaving Danny and his friends utterly surprised and puzzled about their unexpected adversary. Sometime later, the family heads to Jack and Maddie's college reunion, and Jack recollects the tale of Vlad and the accident that gave him acne. They meet Vlad, who seems welcoming, and tries advancing towards Maddie. A little too late for that, buddy. Anyways, he insists they stay at his place for the night as a sign of hospitality. However, at night, Vlad sends vulture ghosts to attack Jack for revenge, but Danny's ghost senses cause him to intervene. He is then faced with the ghost Vlad Plasmius, who knocks him out, causing Danny to turn back to his human form. Now, when Vlad learns that Danny is half ghost like himself, he lures him into his lab, offering to mentor him if he turns against his father. Danny obviously refuses, and Vlad takes control of Jack's body to cause chaos at the reunion. A battle ensues ending with Danny forcing Vlad into a truce in order to protect each other's secrets. So yeah, it's all safe. Well, at least for now. Danny's behavior has become increasingly erratic and negative, causing concern for his sister Jazz. A new guidance counselor, Penelope Spectra, joins the school and Danny is sent to her office for a session, during which she absorbs his negative emotions as energy. As Danny's friends deny the existence of ghosts and Jazz becomes increasingly suspicious of Danny's behavior, a shape-shifting ghost named Bertrand assists Spectra in her plan to absorb more teenage depression. Ultimately, Danny faces Spectra and Bertrand, with Jazz discovering his brother's secret powers. Danny? Together, they thwart Spectra's plan and restore the spirits of the depressed students, leaving Danny back in good spirits and Jazz with a secret knowledge of her brother's alter ego, Danny Phantom. He can tell me when he's ready. As they double-check their captured ghosts, Danny, Tucker, and Smith anticipate a weekend of leisure, but their plans hit a snag when their hard drive fills up, leading Danny to toss an old copy of the doomed video game into the trash, despite Tucker's warning that Technus might still be inside. Technus, inadvertently freed, ensnares Tucker and Sam through the computer's wires, firing a laser beam at them. Danny springs into action, deploying the Fenton ghost catcher to separate Technus from the computer, triggering a fierce battle. Despite their efforts, Danny accidentally splits himself into two halves, Super Danny, who's laser-focused, and Fun Danny, the carefree one without responsibility. While Super Danny battles Technus, Fun Danny witnesses the chaos, leading to an unexpected encounter with his dad, Jack Fenton, who aims to rekindle Danny's interest in ghost hunting. Amid amusement park antics and movie mishaps, the Dannys unite, gaining balance and defeating Technus together. Danny faces a series of ghostly threats, battling a squid, a wolf, and a cobra in one chaotic night. He wonders why so many ghosts are surfacing all at once, only to discover the source of the problem lies with his father, Jack Fenton, who accidentally releases ghosts while demonstrating his new genetic lock for the Fenton Ghost Portal. One ghost, Johnny 13, and his girlfriend Kitty enter Earth through the portal, but when it closes, Kitty disperses her energy into objects, 
urging Johnny to find a host body for her. Jazz, Danny's sister, becomes Johnny's unwitting target. As Danny grapples with his protective instincts, Johnny's shadow wreaks havoc and Jazz develops a crush on Johnny, causing tension between her and Danny. The conflicts escalate, leading to a showdown in the Fenton household's basement, where Jazz nearly succumbs to Kitty's possession but is ultimately saved by Danny. Sometime later, Danny has a series of unfortunate encounters that lead to the the anger of popular girl Valerie Gray. Meanwhile, a ghost puppy named Cujo causes havoc in both the human world and the ghost zone, which causes Valerie's father to lose his job and they're forced to move to a less costly home. Feeling guilty, Danny attempts to help by capturing the ghost puppy, but Cujo keeps escaping from the ghost zone. Valerie, seeking revenge, becomes a ghost hunter and targets Danny with advanced ghost hunting weapons provided by Vlad Masters. As Valerie's pursuit intensifies, she battles Danny while Cujo seeks something in Axion Labs. Eventually, Cujo finds his beloved squeaky chew toy, and Valerie's vendetta against ghosts continues, creating new challenges for Danny and his friends. In a Halloween-themed episode, Danny and Dash are tasked with decorating a haunted house for their school's Halloween party. Danny struggles to come up with a scary exhibit until he learns about the Fright Knight, a ghost with a powerful sword that can create nightmares. He steals the sword and uses it to enhance his exhibit, but of course, things go awry when the Fright Knight is released and wreaks havoc. With the help of Sam and Tucker, Danny must stop the Fright Knight and save his friends in town. In the end, Danny confesses to cheating and Dash is declared the winner, leaving Danny with detention and an unusual punishment involving eating Dash's underwear. Tidy whitey loser. The trio of Danny, Tucker, and Sam enjoy a day at the water park, but their fun is disrupted by Dash, Quan, and later Johnny 13's shadow. Danny battles the malevolent shadow as his ghostly alter ego and manages to send it packing. However, his secret identity is accidentally exposed when Paulina witnesses the fight. Surprisingly, Paulina decides to keep his secret, leading to a fake romantic relationship between them. Danny's newfound popularity at school causes tension with his friends, especially Sam, who is jealous of his attention to Paulina. Meanwhile, Tucker becomes entangled with another popular girl, Star. As the fake relationship with Paulina continues, it's revealed that Kitty, possessing Paulina's body, is using Danny to make her ex-boyfriend Johnny jealous. To resolve the situation, Danny orchestrates a plan to reunite Johnny and Kitty while maintaining his secret identity. The plan works and Danny returns to his normal life. Later, Walker, warden of a large prison in the ghost zone, employs his henchman Bullet to capture the troublesome ghost Danny Phantom. To aid in this mission, Walker forces a wolf-like ghost named Wolf with a shock collar to track Danny down. Chaos ensues in Amity Park as Walker's goons wreak havoc, prompting strict security measures at Casper High and causing Danny to question his actions as a ghostly protector. Jazz helps Danny evade the overshadowed students and tries to protect her brother. Eventually, Danny forms an unlikely alliance with Wolf, who has a change of heart, and they work together to defeat Walker and free Amity Park from his control. One day, Maddie and Danny are invited to a science symposium by the Dalve Company, but their plane crash lands in the Rocky Mountains and they seek refuge at Vlad Master's cabin. Vlad, secretly in love with Maddie, tries to win her over while trapping Danny with his ghost animals. Danny manages to remove the Spectre Deflector, a device that inhibits his ghost powers, and confronts Vlad, leading to a battle. Maddie eventually helps Danny defeat Vlad and they return home, promising to keep their encounter a secret from the others. One day, Sam's parents forbid her from attending a goth circus called Circus Gothica, while Danny battles ghost thieves who frame him for robbery. Sam's parents push her to adopt a more cheerful persona, which she rebels against, and her friends try to help her sneak out to the circus after Danny becomes hypnotized by the circus ringmaster Freak Show's staff. Controlled by Freak Show, Danny performs dangerous stunts and Sam and Tucker realize his predicament. The circus becomes chaotic as Freak Show uses Danny to commit crime crimes, while Sam, Tucker, and their parents attempt to rescue Danny from Freak Show's control. Eventually, Sam and Tucker break through to Danny, breaking the staff's control, and together they stop Freak Show's plans, leading to his arrest and the group's grounding.
Sam's environmental concerns clash with Danny and Tucker's enthusiasm for a new truck, leading to tensions within the group. Desiree, a ghost, overhears Sam's wish for something to happen to Paulina's party, and her powers bring to life horror movie characters who wreak havoc. As Danny battles these living monsters, misunderstandings and conflicts with Sam arise, culminating in Sam's accidental wish for them to have never met erasing Danny's ghost powers and their past friendship. Now, Sam works to convince Danny of their history and the threat posed by Desiree, who plans to use everyone's wishes from a meteor shower to become stronger. Eventually, they reconcile, and Sam's final wish undoes the chaos and restores their memories, allowing them to enjoy the promised movie night together. Danny, Sam, and Tucker face off against a group of ghost pirates led by the young Captain Youngblood. These ghosts steal a crucial Fenton ghost shield generator and use their mesmerizing music to compel parents to leave their children behind and board their pirate ship. To counteract the ghostly influence, Sam and Tucker set up a makeshift radio station and host a party at Danny's house. Danny, suspicious of the parents' behavior, investigates and discovers their plan. With the help of his friends, including Tucker who disguises himself as an adult to disable the ghost shield generator, they confront the ghost pirates. After a thrilling battle and the return of the parents to their senses, Danny defeats the pirates and rescues everyone. One day, Vlad Plasmius accidentally awakens the powerful ghost king Pariah Dark while searching for ancient artifacts in the ghost zone, leading to Pariah's invasion of Amity Park. Meanwhile, Danny befriends Valerie during a chaotic school day, causing concern among his friends, Sam and Tucker. As ghost attacks escalate, Vlad manipulates events to steal the Fenton Ectoskeleton. Pariah's ghost army invades, prompting Danny and his allies to confront the threat, Valerie initially opposes them but eventually joins forces, and the Fright Knight establishes a massive ghost shield over the city, demanding the Ring of Rage for its removal. In the aftermath, as the chaos settles, Danny reunites with his friends and allies. His guilt over not addressing the problem sooner drives him to confront the escalating ghost invasion caused by Pariah Dark's return. Amidst the battles, Valerie plays a crucial role in rescuing Danny and and launching the Ring of Rage away from Pariah, temporarily halting the Ghost King's resurgence. Meanwhile, Vlad hightails it out using his intangibility to evade capture. Danny, now equipped with the Fenton Ectoskeleton, prepares to confront Pariah Dark, and with the help of Sam, Tucker, and a united group of ghosts, they infiltrate his castle. In a fierce battle, Danny ultimately seals Pariah Dark back in his sarcophagus, restoring Amity Park to Earth. As he awakens in his room, he's surrounded by friends and family. The town views him as a hero, and his journey continues with newfound complexity in his personal life. Sometime later, Vlad Plasmius suffers another ecto-acne breakout and pleads with Danny for help, infecting Sam and Tucker to coerce him. He falls unconscious, leaving Danny to cope while being ambushed by Jack and Maddie. He escapes and gets Clockwork, the Master of Time, to send him back to prevent Vlad's accident, altering the timeline. However, he returns to a present where Jack is evil and Vlad is married to Maddie. Jack attacks Danny until he reveals the truth, leading Jack to recount how the Proto-Portal accident granted him ghost powers. After a series of mishaps, Danny learns about a cure for Vlad's acne and asks Clockwork to fix the timeline. He then returns to the hospital and helps cure everyone, but ending another crazy time-traveling adventure. Later, Vlad observes Danny's fighting patterns for an experiment and sends three ghosts to him to obtain a mid-morph sample. Among these ghosts is Danielle, who claims she's a cousin of Danny. Later, when Danielle reveals her ghostly powers, she and Danny become close friends. However, she soon betrays Danny, causing him to be captured by Vlad. Vlad reveals his plan to make a perfect clone of Danny, which means that even Danny Danielle will be discarded once he achieves his goal. This leads Danielle to change sides, and she helps Danny thwart Vlad's schemes. In the end, Danielle is now free and flies away, promising to return in the future. Amity Park is blanketed in snowy splendor.
splendor as Christmas draws near. Sam revels in the holiday spirit, but Danny feels grumpy thanks to his parents' annual bickering over Santa's existence. The ghostwriter, an otherworldly author, finishes a Christmas poem, leading to a clash with Danny that inadvertently destroys the poem. In retaliation, the ghostwriter traps Danny in a rhyming Christmas narrative where his words reshape reality. A cheery, yet one soul was dark. Hey, that voice, it's that ghost. Until he grasps Christmas's essence. Danny faces off against animated Christmas decorations and sentient toys, worsening the town's animosity. Ultimately, he confronts the ghost rider in the ghost zone. The ghosts maintain a Christmas truce with him, exacting revenge on the ghost rider for breaking it. With an orange to the villain's face, Danny escapes, but remains within the poem until he learns his lesson. Returning to Amity Park, he enlists his friends and even his spectral foes to restore Christmas joy. The ghost Ghost Rider languishes in jail, tormented by his citrus phobia, and the tale ends with Christmas cheer restored. He's safe and he's sound. Gee, thanks, little brother. I knew you'd come around. A villain named Skulker is in pursuit of a menacing ghost, which results in his capture by the guys in white, a secret government organization whose goal is to eliminate all ghosts who analyze his suit for information about Danny Phantom. Things take a twist when a foreign exchange student named Gregor arrives, catching Sam's eye and causing jealousy in Danny. He becomes suspicious of Gregor's sudden appearance, thinking that he might be linked to the guys in white. Despite Tucker's attempts to spy on Sam and Gregor, Danny's worries persist. Gregor's true identity is revealed as an imposter, and Danny, Tucker, and Sam find themselves in danger from the guys in white, who mistake Gregor for Danny Phantom. After a confrontation, the group resolves their issues, Sam ends her short-lived relationship with Gregor, and they return to being friends. On the last day of school, Danny encounters Freak Show in prison, who's being questioned by the guys in white about the reality gauntlet. Released by the desire for revenge, Freak Show uses the gauntlet to escape, not knowing the correct gem order. Meanwhile, Danny, Sam, and Tucker excitedly plan a cross-country summer vacation. However, their trip takes a chaotic turn when Lydia, controlled by Freak Show, attacks a concert. They inadvertently activate the gauntlet's powers and reveal Danny's identity to the world. Chaos ensues and they embark on a quest to recover the lost gems. After various adventures and even a showdown with Freak Show, Danny ultimately uses the gauntlet to defeat him, restore the world to normal, and erase everyone's memory of his ghostly identity except for his close friends. With the crisis resolved, Danny chooses to enjoy the rest of his summer vacation. Vlad's mansion is raided by the guys in white, suspecting him of harboring ghost-related items. In retaliation, Vlad uses vulture ghosts to expose Danny in the school locker room. Later, Vlad purchases the Nasty Burger after it is destroyed and runs for mayor against Danny's objections. A heated battle ensues between them, leading to Vlad's victory as mayor through manipulative tactics. Vlad implements strict rules and increases surveillance, thus frustrating Danny. Eventually, Danny organizes a protest against Vlad's policies, and the confrontation unveils Vlad's dual identity to the public. Danny cleverly exposes Vlad's true nature, prompting him to reverse his policies and plans. Despite this temporary resolution, Danny hints that their conflict is far from over. Danny, Sam, and Tucker find themselves lost in the ghost zone, encountering Frostbite, who takes them to the far frozen and shares his backstory as the savior of the ghost zone. He presents them with the Infimap, a powerful artifact that allows teleportation within the ghost zone. Unbeknownst to them, Vlad spies on them and desires the map's immense power. When Danny accidentally activates the map, they're transported to various historical areas where Vlad manipulates events to gain power. He ultimately traps Danny in an ectoplasmic circle and steals the map, leading to a thrilling chase through time. Vlad's actions in different times periods cause chaos, but Danny, Sam, and Tucker persevere, following him until the map transports Vlad to Frostbite's kingdom, where he's encased in ice. Before parting ways, Frostbite hints at Danny's untapped ice powers, and with the map returned to its rightful place, they use it to journey back to the real world, leaving Vlad frozen and mistaken for a statue by the citizens of Amity Park. Later, the guys in white offer to buy Fenton Works from Danny's parents, Jack and Matt. 
The Fentons, enticed by a massive check, accept the offer and move to a luxurious mansion. Danny initially struggles with this newfound wealth, but eventually indulges in the lavish lifestyle. Meanwhile, Sam and Tucker discover the guys in white's true plan, which is to destroy the ghost zone, inadvertently causing Earth's destruction too. As Danny's friends attempt to thwart this disaster, Danny eventually realizes the importance of being a hero and rushes to their aid. With the help of ghostly allies, they prevent the cataclysmic event, forcing the guys in white to retreat. The Fentons return to their ghost hunting ways, and Danny learns to appreciate the simple life. Danny experiences a surreal dream where he's adored and successful at school and is surprised to learn that he's dating Sam. This dream is interrupted by the appearance of the Fright Knight and as Danny defeats him, the students reveal they know his secret. The vision shatters and Danny awakens to find himself, his family, and his friends trapped in a strange sleep state with metal helmets. Investigating, he encounters a new ghost named Nocturne who reveals he feeds on people's dreams, gaining power as he does so. Danny manages to wake up his friends using dream shock therapy and they discover Nocturne's plot to siphon dream energy from the entire town of Amity Park. They thwart Nocturne's plan and Danny and Sam share an unspoken moment blushing at the events of their dreams. Do I sense a potential love story? Anyways, Danielle is back and she is on the run from Vlad, seeking Danny's help to stabilize her ghostly form. Vlad, on the other hand, has sent Valerie to capture her, making her think that Danielle is an evil ghost. During a battle, Danielle saves her from a collapsing building, yet she restrains her as ordered. When Danielle reveals that she needs Danny Phantom's help to stabilize herself, Valerie lets her find him so she can catch two birds with one stone. Eventually, she succeeds, but soon learns the half-human nature of Danielle and the evil schemes of Vlad, causing her to also switch sides. Now, instead of hunting ghosts, she aims to hunt down Vlad himself. Meanwhile, Danielle's condition is stable stabilized using one of Jack's serums. Vlad Plasmius manipulates an asteroid composed of ectoranium near Saturn's rings, sending it hurtling towards Earth. A fierce battle erupts in space between Danny Phantom and Vlad, leading to a satellite's destruction due to Vlad's reckless actions. Back on Earth, Vlad creates Master's Blasters, a group of efficient teenage ghost hunters, whose success at capturing ghosts makes Danny question his role as a hero, leading him to consider relinquishing his ghost power. Hours. After a series of events and Vlad's interference, Danny deactivates the ghost portal, turning himself fully human and relinquishing his powers. But when an asteroid threatens Earth, Danny realizes Vlad's involvement and decides to help. He discovers a way to turn the world intangible to save it from disaster, and with the world's cooperation, Danny catches hundreds of ghosts from the ghost zone. Aided by his allies, Danny initiates the plan to turn Earth intangible, preventing the asteroid from causing catastrophic damage. In the end, Danny's secret is revealed to the world, and he becomes a celebrated hero in Amity Park. Even his parents, who are hardcore ghost hunters, appreciate and accept their son's half-ghost nature. Statues are erected in his honor, and the citizens of Amity Park acknowledge his bravery. Meanwhile, Vlad faces a lonely end as a space nomad crushed by the asteroid he inadvertently set in motion. In a heartwarming moment, Danny and Sam, who have finally confessed their feelings for each other, share a kiss and a romantic flight, concluding the series on a very touching note. However, there is a little more. One day, Danny accidentally gets a hold of the answer sheet to the career aptitude test, which he uses to pass the exam. Why do you even care if I cheat? Why shouldn't I open this up and study the answers, huh? Now, Danny isn't the brightest when it comes to studies, so naturally, Mr. Lancer, the school's principal, becomes a little suspicious. He invites Danny's parents to a meeting, but an accident causes a massive explosion, which causes the death of both of his parents and his best friends. Not knowing where to go, he confides in Vlad, who actually understands his pain and gives him the option to remove his ghostly powers. However, the separated half turns out to be evil 
who immediately steals Vlad's gauntlets and merges with him, giving rise to the strongest villain of the series, Dark Danny. He kills his human counterpart and destroys Vlad's mansion, leaving him alive to tell the tale of his destruction. This, it's the 10 years without ghost power. Over the next few years, Dark Danny went on a rampage in both human and the ghost worlds and became the most feared ghost in the entire world. Now, coming back to the present where Danny's friends and family haven't died yet, ghosts from the future start appearing to kill Danny before this incident occurs, causing an encounter with Clockwork, the master of time. Clockwork sends him into the future to battle his dark self. However, Dark Danny proves way too powerful and traps our Danny in the future. He takes on the role of regular Danny and returns to the present to cause destruction here as well. Jazz plays a crucial role in informing the real Danny of the threats in the future, and he returns just in time before the battle begins. A battle ensues, and Danny uses his new power, the Ghostly Whale, sealing his evil future self into the Fenton Thermos, but is unable to stop an impending explosion. Clockwork arrives and gives Danny a second chance at redemption. Save them? I, I, I don't understand. Allowing him to make amends by sending him back in time and confessing his intent to cheat on the test. In the end, everything turns to normal while Dark Danny is trapped in the Fenton Thermos. It is rather surprising how a simple event such as cheating on a test for Danny could shape the whole world in a different manner. But as they say, all's well that ends well. Now, before we sign off, I'm gonna leave you with a mind-blowing theory. Some people strongly believe that Danny Phantom is actually Timmy Turner. Now, you may wonder how is that possible? Well, if you have watched our video on the show, we already know that Timmy made a secret wish to stop everyone from aging, so he would never lose his fairy parents. Well, what if he took another drastic measure to ensure that it never happens? What if Timmy wished to create an entirely different universe where he he took on the role of Danny Phantom and filled the world with similar characters. I mean, think about it. Fairy World and Ghost Zone seem way too similar. And then there's the episode named Polter Geeks, and in this episode, Timmy's parents become ghost hunters and even have a lab in their basement. Does that ring a bell? But what's really interesting is that they have a wanted poster of Danny Phantom in their lab, further proving that these universes are somehow connected. Although we can never be sure about such crazy speculations, they are always fun to explore. Now, whether this theory holds any merit or not is up to you guys, so go ahead and let us know in the comments.